buy one blitz. Good. All right. Anyway, buy a adjuster. Finally. Holy crap. Uh, got time down. I'm doing this in my class. I probably won't be on a game today. Anyway, I'm doing my buy adjuster. I'm going to give you two forms of methane. There's liquid methane and then there's gas methane. Gas is more dangerous than liquid because liquid expansion is not comparable to gas. You have more control over a liquid expansion than you do gas. But gas is more pure as a fuel. But since I'm making methane as a house fuel and I'm too lazy to put into the effort to make a liquid, I mean gas methane. Since it's not illegal and you don't need a permit for it. Actually, people want that. For now, unless you're too smart, like teaching Africa, like Egypt, or Middle East, or Australia. But anyway, right now I'm making liquid methane. I'm going to make something to hold liquid methane. Methane eats metal or metallic, unless the iron or steel or aluminum is sprayed with a surface that can handle the metal, to handle the methane. Methanol is the same thing. Now, I'm going to give you a difference between methane and methanol. Methane is a waste product that comes from the digestion system of a person inside and that has been produced from waste bell. I'm not going to give you the chemicals of it because methanol is a alcohol which have a hydroxide group added to by taking a hydrogen molecule out of it or taking an oxygen molecule oxygen molecule out of it or adding one it was a negative hydro hydrogen hydroxide group whatever methanol is crap is the waste product of not an internal system that's deals with a yeast produce. Okay. Methane does not deal with yeast. It does not deal with yeast. Methanol deal with a yeast product. It has a form of yeast developed from it. Now, that is the best way I can describe it because some people say methanol is liquid while methane is gas, but you can chill the gas of methane into liquid and you can superheat methyl into a gas. So, I hate there I know. Anyway, I'm doing this right now. I am um, making myself stuff to hold liquid. Um, first of all, I have to figure out how to keep air from any methane from escaping. I was going to make a bib or a plunger, but I am too lazy for that right now. So I got this bib. This is the one I bought. Usually I make these. Making these are simple. You just need something to bring stuff in and close it off when you don't want it. See, as it go in, it goes out. Oh yeah, that's white. You can't see the hole in there, but there's a hole that come in here and goes out and when it turns, it closes. So now I have to figure out how to seal it out. I mean, not seal it out, but have stuff going into it where it doesn't get out. So what I'm going to do is drill a hole in this, put a plunger around it where no air gets out. And I'm going to seal this down. And then I'm going to get the siphon and I'm going to, you know, seal this as well. This is methane. Yes, methane do eat plastic. Rubber is the best bet for it, but I have no form of rubber and I do not feel like making any. Once I seal this completely, I'm going to then drill a hole in my gas tank or in this fuel tank. And seal this, let this dry for a couple of days. Make sure we can open and close, pour liquid in, make sure no liquid gets in and out of it, just in case. And then after I'm done with that, I'm then going to put this pressure gauge. There are two forms of pressure gauge. There's liquid 
and then there's no liquid pressure gauge. They say liquid is good can you give more accurate reading, but the air pressure gauge is better due to the fact that you want to true it determines more truer pressure than PSI than a liquid. Don't care. You can actually make these. A pressure gauge is nothing more than a closed gauge, a closed item that have um, pressure. It depends on what kind of pressure. You want gas pressure, you want liquid pressure, you want a solid pressure, you want a vacuum pressure, blah, blah, blah. This tiny hole, what I'm doing right now is I want gas pressure because I don't want gas, I want liquid. So if this gas pressure get more than 40 PSI, more than 40 or 50 PSI, actually I haven't turned the volume, you can host it. I'm just gonna figure it out after I'm done. That way I can close my other pressure gauge, which I will show on the other end before you get to this PSI that it can't handle. I'm going to put this on the top of it. Like I said, I'm trying to determine gas, not liquid. If you determine gas, which gas rises, you need to pass something on top. It also depends on what kind of reading you want, but that's the normal way. If you want to determine liquid, you need to have it on out of the bottom or the side. If you determine solid, you need to have it on the side or the bottom. It's the same thing. That's the basics, unless you don't get complicated. After I seal this pressure gauge off with these plunger and the rubber, I'm then going to put this on the top of my tank. And once that dries off, then I'm going to make sure this end right here has one way everything comes in it, but I can pour my methane out of it. Usually I get way more complicated, but you know, Premier Van Line International screwed me over, so did GCI Alaska and the girl they did. So, whatever. If I was living in the middle of the woods or the swamp or the desert or the ocean like I used to, this probably wouldn't be dealt with having. But, um, that way I can have methane. Don't forget, methane is a flammable. I'm not gonna get what kind of engine to be after this video, but you know, fun stuff. Once I get done, hopefully I can get back to my class after all my stuff get done. Anyway, bye. All right, I'm using this, so, and PVC glue. At, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna clean it. I'm gonna heat it, where I'm gonna heat both this, and this thing where it can get hot enough. I'm gonna put PVC glue, let it sit, put another set of PVC glue. I'm going to hot glue that and then I'm going to put this on the inside and then I'm going to uh, PVC glue around the edges just in case. I'm going to let that sit then I'm going to hot glue the edge just in case. I'm going to make sure it's open just in case. Blah blah blah. Same thing with the other thing. Bye.